single code now. Okay, so been asked this uh, question uh, from the Course in Miracles. I will there's in the, one of the lessons I will forgive and this will disappear in relation to guilt. And for me, um, the uh, actually you could say like nearly every every lesson has a way of disappearing the world if you find how to apply it. Um, basically, um, okay. So I mean, guilt, guilt, whether whether I've done something bad to myself or another. I mean, the feeling of guilt is the resonance of needing punishment. So if I'm guilty, uh, my ego will pick up a belief system that will express guilt. You know, uh, like I might become a food addict to uh, just beat myself up, uh, and or I might uh, my ego may project like this person is guilty and I need to punish them. Uh, so I could either try and punishing myself uh, consciously or unconsciously, or I could try punishing others uh, as I project out that guilt onto others. But um, forgiveness. Well, uh, if, if I mean, for me, if you completely forgive something, it disappears. You no longer can remember it any longer. So if, if I think like someone's done something wrong to me, uh, then... Um, it's like uh, I, might, I may hold a feeling, I, I could be, uh, or if I feel I've done something wrong, it doesn't really matter. There's this idea, whether it's me or another, we could see it as one collective self. So to, to see myself as guilty or to see anyone else as guilty is the same thing. I mean, there's not, there's not a difference because we're, in truth, there's not a me and another. So whether I see I'm guilty or you're guilty, it's still, um, it's still whatever it is. So I need to, um, I need to just, uh, so I could say I forgive myself for eating an extra donut, or I forgive that person for stealing my donuts when they came round, whatever it is. Um, now, as I keep doing that, for example, if we use forgiveness, at a certain point, that feeling of like, um, the, uh, the uh, feeling of unforgiveness towards that person or myself disappears. It's like the ego can no longer hold it. And even the feelings and the thoughts disappear. So um, if I just say, God is a loving which I forgive you, or God is a loving which I forgive myself, whoever it seems to be aimed at. And at a certain point, if you do it for long enough and hard enough, it will be released, both the emotion and the thought. And once the form is gone, the feelings will start to dissipate unless you choose something else to attack. Um, so that's the way to uh, release. Um, yes, that is the truth. In fact, um, I mean, I, I talk about feeling the feelings and the observer or just praying and cancelling beliefs, but um, once something is removed, it's a general principle that when you no longer identify with form in a specific situation, like uh, I don't like you or I don't like myself, when the beliefs or the thoughts around that disappear, then the problem disappears because um, it's like, you can only see, uh, you only see uh, really, actually, uh, um, uh, okay, you only see uh, things actually which have meaning for you. Let's use the course language. If something has no meaning for you, you don't see it any longer. So if I had the thought like I'm fat or whatever, um, if I disappeared that thought, um, the course does say I'm affected only by my thoughts. So if I disappear that thought until that thought no longer exists in my in me, I can't see it in myself or the, the other in the world, then it will actually have disappeared. Fatness, me being fat or others being fat or the judgment on self or others would completely disappear. I wouldn't notice it. Uh, it wouldn't even, I would not see myself as fat or others as fat or whatever it is. So it just disappears. Uh, if you disappear everything, every single thought, every single idea that the, there is a world, there is a me, there is a you, there is suffering, there is time, until they totally disappear, the whole world will disappear, and that's what I experience. So to the extent if, if you disappear most of your thoughts that you're holding in mind, then you'll be in a state of, uh, the, call it the, the course would call it the holy instant, infinite flow where there's not a you, you're not a body, you're not your thoughts. There's just the oneness uh, that seems to be in flow and in timelessness and exquisite beauty. 
Um, and then as you think more and have more beliefs and have more repressed feelings, the world starts to become much darker, you know, where I, I'm probably bad and you're probably bad and the world's probably bad. And you see a lot, you're seeing sort of consciously and unconsciously all your belief systems expressed. That's what you're really seeing, all your guilt and your thoughts expressed to create what the course would call perception. So you see a world where I'm probably guilty, you're probably guilty, and probably people should be punished. And uh, so you're seeing, basically what you're seeing really is just the sum of your repressed belief systems and thoughts and your un un unfelt out repressed feelings. So that creates a, a, a filter by what you see in the world. Okay, I'll stop there.